So the next couple of paragraphs are actually solely generated by ChatGPT. So I want to like more or less pretend that I can actually, you know, say it's from myself and not really reading from a script. So let's see how it goes. If you are a perfectionist who find it crucial to pronounce every word correctly and feel bad about typos or mistakes and regret posting or saying them, then this may not be your cup of tea. Creating a high quality video can be quite expensive. You saw that it may cost $5,000 to just create five minutes of video. And the chance of recouping that investment is pretty slim. You need at least 200,000 views to just break even. Creating five minutes video in just an hour is not an art. It's primarily the result of engineering and employing specific techniques. At first, it may seem daunting and lead to disappointment, but gradually the process gets easier and it revolves around analytics, statistics, and numbers. Whenever you post a video, there will always be some people who criticize and even ridicule you. They make fun of your accent, your appearance, or your clothing choices. It's important to remember that these individuals represent a minority, and over time, they tend to give up and pay more attention to the content of what you say rather than how you look. It is essential to maintain a resilient mindset and not let such criticism discourage you. Focus on the value of your message and the knowledge you share, knowing that majority of your audience appreciate and benefits from it. Remember that personal attack or criticism on, super, on superficial aspects like your appearance or accent are often reflection of the insecurity or bias of individuals making those comments. Stay confident in your abilities, embrace your uniqueness, and continue delivering valuable content. Gradually, the positive impact of your message will outweigh any, any superficial criticism. So in fact, you will see that reading from a script is actually one of those techniques that uh, you should be able to uh, you know, comfortably read from a script. At first, it's, it's more artificial. People can see that you're reading it, but gradually it becomes more and more natural. And that's, the, that's probably one of the main values that you know, these large language models can bring because it can generate the content for you but it cannot, you know, act as a human. And in a way, you become a proxy of that. You, you are the human proxy of, of uh, the content generated by AI. I don't know if you've seen the movie Hair. There is a part of that movie that, that actually, uh, you know, that AI agent uh, hire a woman to act as, as her proxy. It's a very good movie. I actually recommend you to watch it. Now, let's review uh, some techniques, specifically these four techniques to achieve these goals. Capture ideas, allocate time and place to record these ideas, use a tool to generate and publish this video, and finally, check analytics and refine your methods. The first step is to try, try to capture your ideas during the day. Any interesting links, any YouTube videos that you find interesting, you want to be sure that you capture all of them. And again, you, it doesn't have to be related to any specific topics that you're trying to create a video. You just want to create those that inventory of ideas. So for example, there are some tools that you can use, like Evernote, MindMister, Pinterest. I personally use Google Keep. The reason is because you can actually record your voice and it also transcript that voice. So you keep both audio and the transcript version of it. To do is Microsoft OneNote, Apple Notes, there. And uh, so any, any one of these tools, you know, which is suit suitable for you. 
Second is that you need a specific time and a specific place for your recording during the day. Just like for productivity, you need to have a focus time and you need to actually more or less block those time in your calendar. The same is true for, for this kind of, a, you know, small clip recording. You want to be sure that your uh, recording setup is ready, your microphone and so on. You want to be sure that you are in a quiet place and you want to be sure that you already, you know, uh, basically allocated that time for the recording so you can every day you can, you know, record these without much overhead. Finally, once you have an inventory of ideas and you are wondering which one of these ideas is good to create a video, that's where AI come to rescue. So, and, and show you, you know, those ideas that you have more, uh, for example, content for it, material for it, then you can pick one of these ideas and then AI can actually create a mind map for you create a tree structure and automatically can pick from those content and generate a video for you. And then you can decide, you know, if the video is good or bad and eventually can even, you know, uh, fine tune that video for you and even publish it. And this, this is a tool that we go through the different parts of it and even, uh, you know, try to more or less create it from open source modules. Finally, you need to track your progress and you need to fine tune your methods to increase the quality. And that's where Google Analytics come into the picture and uh, understanding, you know, the, the parts of Google Analytics and how AI can actually simplify some of the complexity behind these analytics.